Moon Boy, welcome. How you doing? Hope you had a good weekend, man. Uh, I know it's been a busy, a busy week already, and it's still Monday. Um, why don't you want to finish The Last of Us? <laughs> oh, cool. You're an artist? Awesome. I'll, I'll give you a follow right now. Let's see. Can I do so? Yep, there you go. You got a follow from me. Um, I'll, I'll definitely see the whole series through. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'll... I'll see the first season because I know that there's, I think, one or two more episodes left in this season. I'll definitely see it all the way through. I like to commit to it. You know, I'll give it a fair shake and and stay with it. Um, but just like uh, just like The Walking Dead, there are some things that are bugging me. Um, and, and I simply I'm trying really hard to get past them. You know, I'm I'm really trying to get past them. Like I, like I mentioned before, I am a fan of Pedro Pascal. Uh, I think he's great. He, you know, he, he, was, he was not my first choice for Joel. And that's one of the, one of the first gripes that I have with it. I know I got, I got hit pretty bad on Twitter with it. <laughs> um, casting was a problem. So although I love Pedro Pascal... Uh, and I'm and I'm new to the actress that that plays Ellie. I, I think her name is Bella. I apologize. I know that she's I know that she's in Game of Thrones, but I never saw Game of Thrones past the first season. Um, but anyways, um, that's that's part of the that's part of the issue I'm facing is that I don't like uh, I don't like who they chose for the casting. You know, like I said, Pedro Pascual, he was fantastic uh, in Narcos. He was fantastic in, in uh, The Mandalorian. Uh, but I don't know that. I think. I think part of the problem is that the creators didn't let them view or play the game. Because they they wanted to they wanted to bring Joe and Ellie into you know to the screens in a way that in a way that they can control it a little bit better, you know I I guess like they didn't want Pedro Pascual to act like Joe in the game they wanted him to be Pedro Pascual based off of Joel from the game. Um, and I think that's I think that's not working. You know, I think they should be able to at least experience the material or, or, or something like that. But that's uh, that's part of the gripe that I have uh, with the show. I seen everything up to uh, episode seven, which I believe were current. Right. Episode seven is the latest one that came out. Uh, and so. It's it's this it's this really weird love hate relationship that I have with the show. So I I love I love what HBO is doing with it because they're get, of course they're giving you these filler stories, they're giving you these back um, like um, backstories, and that's great. You know, because we're learning about all these different characters that we didn't know so much about uh, while playing the game. But at the same time, they're kind of neglecting, um, they're neglecting some character buildup, you know, or um, they're, they're taking certain liberties, you know, when it comes to like, certain characters and and how they would behave and what they would say and things like that like it's it's really weird it's i like it but i don't like it and so i liked uh episode what was it episode three the one with bill and frank i think it's that one i'm not i'm not sure now they're they're kind of all blending in together but i like i like that episode uh but 
overall, like there's there's certain episodes that I do enjoy. Episode six, I enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Episode seven, it yes, it explains the relationship between Ellie and and um, oh shoot, what's her name? Um, I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm drawing a blank on the names, <laughs> but anyways, basically explaining her first like romance, right? The first time that she fell in love with someone. Um, and I get it. I understand that. And, you know, it explains how she got bit and, you know, this and that. Because it was mentioned before that she was in a mall. And that's how she got bit and, you know, so on and so forth. And I apologize for anybody. Uh, please let me know if this is spoilers for anyone. Um, I could totally stop talking about this. <laughs> I'm just explaining to Moon Boy, um, what, you know, my thoughts on it. So, uh, but yeah, so there's, there's like, it's so hard to pinpoint. There's, there's like something, there's something missing. There's something that, that I don't like. And I'm, I'm slowly like narrowing it down, you know? And it's like, to me, it feels like the show is speeding up, but dragging at the same time. And it's boring. You know, it's like there's a lot of great dialogue and, I, and I'm cool with, you know, I'm cool with shows that have a lot of dialogue. But it's like it's it's boring. Like the, I I feel that the game did a really good job between the balance of both of action. And, you know, you have these these great moments of action and then you have these great moments of just like slowing down. And, it, you know, the pacing of the game was a lot better than the TV show, I think. What bothered me was that the carousel didn't go up and down. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that is true. <laughs> um, it's interesting, the musical choices that they're using. Uh, of course, it goes back to the radio. Uh, they, use, uh, they use 70s, I believe, 60s, 70s, and 80s music. 80s music. Is code for something going wrong, and you know they, the the HBO creators are are using these little tropes. They're using these little things. You know, save whoever you can, uh, survive and endure, and all of this stuff. It was like it was like me, <laughs> me and Les had a whole convo about this <laughs> at Hollow Scream. <laughs> We, yeah, we may have. <laughs> so, like, it it's weird, man. It's I don't know how to explain it, but to me, I and I've been reading online, you know, uh, I've been just kind of looking at everybody's comments and stuff like that on Reddit, and some of them are just plain dumb, <laughs> you know? It's like, I hate to show why, because I do. It's like... That's not fair. You know, that's not a fair statement just to say that you hate something just because you hate it. And then, of course, like the, you know, there's homophobic um, comments be because Ellie uh, is gay. And but I mean, this is this is no surprise. She was this is something that, you know, when you're playing The Last of Us, the video game. Yeah, she she is a gay character. And, you know, we, we see that. We know that. Um, so there's people that are like, oh, this is all, you know, woke agenda and this and that, blah, blah. And, you know, people people are kind of rude online. Uh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> uh, but there are some other people who, who do have uh, valid opinions. And, and they're kind of, they're sounding off the same way. They're saying it's boring. You know, and, and I don't know, I don't know why that is. I don't know. Like, we've seen clickers, we've seen the infected, we've seen a bloater. Um, and I kind of feel like, you know, that that could have been further down the road. It, it didn't have to be uh, so fast, you know, build this, build these characters. It's like, what do we know about Joel? You know, that he was an evil guy. He did bad things. And here he is. But is he evil? What made him evil? You know what I'm saying? What do we know about Tommy? Jess, you know, or sorry, Tess, in and out. <laughs> Barely anything about her. 
uh, then they made it to then they made it to this um, community, and you know the community has rules, and these are the things that we do here, and you know you can you can kind of sense that uh, Tommy's wife doesn't like Joel, but why? Why doesn't she like it? You know, and and these are all things that the creators are promising that they're going to answer. They're like. They're like, oh, we're we're giving you little hints. We're giving you little things here and there. And it's like, I kind of feel like they're not. I think I think they're using the fandom of the of the game to kind of bait us along. And the same thing happened with the two brothers. Um in the game, he wasn't deaf. <laughs> like he was actually a little bit older than they portrayed him in the TV show. But they made him deaf so that the language quote unquote the language that Ellie and, and uh, Joel have isn't repetitive and feels repetitive throughout the entire series because so many people will have the same dialogue. I think that was cheap. I it didn't it didn't do anything to it didn't do anything to um uh flavor the story. It didn't make the story any better, whether he's deaf or not. Like, you know. And then yes it kinda like, I didn't like how they did that, but I did like the way that they humanized, you know? And, of course, they're human, but you get what I'm saying. Um, Ellie speaking to Sam kind of made it like a like an older sister, younger brother type deal. And it's like, hey, everything's going to be okay. You're going to be fine. You're going to be all right. And so I did like that aspect. And, you know, they do certain things that are spot on, you know? They're just like the video game, and then they veer off to these other things um but without seeing without seeing those clickers and stuff uh we wouldn't even have exactly exactly you wouldn't be bored because that's another thing too i don't have a sense of fear i don't ever have a sense of you know when i was playing the game i always felt alone i felt isolated i felt you know sad like the world moved on and here I am having to deal with that, having to deal with the fact that the world had moved on. I'm doing things I don't want to do. I'm surviving. And the game had that. And I don't feel that here. I, I, I don't feel that at all. I don't feel threatened by any anything that we've seen so far. Not by not by the fireflies, not by the insurgents or uh, Phaedra whatever they're called uh i don't feel that fedra or i think that's her name i don't feel threatened by just rogue people that are out there doing the same thing i don't feel threatened by the infected so it's kind of like it it's like uh it's like somebody telling you a story about what happened you know a retelling of a tale if you would you don't you don't get that sense of urgency and so that's my biggest problem with the TV show. Since I since I don't have an emotional attachment, then I kind of feel like, eh, I'm I'm done with this. You know, somebody mentioned it perfectly. They said seven episodes in and I'm still meh. And I I I have to agree with that. You know, I have to agree with that. For whatever yeah, there you go. Uh for you know, for whatever for whatever reason that is, I I don't know if if it's the writing, I don't know if it's you know any of that sort of stuff. Ooh, stand by, just one second. Sorry about that. Um, I don't um, I don't whether it's the writing or or anything like that. Like the film locations, brilliant. The mall gorgeous you know the the place where bill and frank lived awesome boston awesome you know all of the wyoming everything these locations are perfect everything is fantastic but pedro pedro's not acting like joel you know yes we did see that in the game that joel was run down he was older he was that's what, you know, he lost his daughter. He sees his daughter in Ellie. 
he has this internal conflict. All of those things were there. Like, totally. I totally get it. But but he's not doing it. You know? He's Pedro Pascual is doing a fantastic job at whatever they're telling him to do. But it's not Joel. <laughs> and then Ellie, um, I believe her name is Bella. I, I should look it up. Okay, yeah, Bella Ramsey. So, Bella Ramsey, same thing. Great actress. But she's doing Ellie based off of whatever they're telling her Ellie is. Ellie in the game, yes, she does curse a lot. Yes, she's a typical teenager. There's some things she doesn't that she doesn't know. She's naive about. And then there are other things that she's clever about. She's sharp. She's a smart girl. I... I don't understand the strain obsession that they did with the gun and her like uh, in the show like she's she's attracted to violence she's attracted to I, I don't understand that because I did not get that from the game Ellie was a typical teenage girl whose world fell apart you know it's like she you know, she is important to the whole series. She knows that. But at the same time, she's a kid. She She's collecting comics. She's relying on Joel. And it's that moment, you know, where he got injured, where it's like, damn it, dude, like, I need you. Because that's exactly it. She's a child. And I think, um, I think they're doing that, but they're doing it in, you know, in... <laughs> In a strange way it's like it's so odd and Bella Ramsey uh, does a great job like I like I said based on it's like I kind of feel like if she read her lines it's like yep that's the way Ellie would say it but she doesn't know how she would stand how she would you know look off at the distance or do those kinds of things because she doesn't have a visual uh reference she doesn't have you know she never played the game and so you know the creators are like yep you're doing everything great everything's good but they don't know and so that's that's why i said you know in in the show i'm having a hard hard time dealing with her because she doesn't look like ellie she kind of sounds like her she's saying the she's saying ellie things but um some things some things are off and so what i have observed is that anybody who has not seen or who has not played the game um finds the show really really good it makes sense you know it totally makes sense because someone who has never played the game wouldn't be so wouldn't be so critical and wouldn't be looking for certain things so the same thing happened to me when I was uh, watching The Walking Dead. So I read The Walking Dead. I, you know, uh, I followed the comics, um, and I knew about, I knew about the comics before the show and all of that good stuff. And so it was a fantastic story. Same thing, fantastic story, uh, but then the show became boring. And granted, I know that it could happen, you know, because there are people that are like expecting to see on HBO what they what they read or what they played or what they experienced that's not going to happen it's never going to happen one of, like there's a there's a show that's coming up they're already kind of doing pilots for it and and stuff like that and it is the division so i've played the division i played the division 1 and 2 i know the whole storyline i love it um, am i expecting to see exactly everything no of course not and I'm not expecting to see everything exactly here either. I, you know, I completely understand in my mind that one is a game and one is a TV show. And so that's happening with, with The Last of Us. I'm like, ooh, I know what's coming up. And I like this part. And they do it. And I'm like, all right, they did it. But it's not like the first time I saw it. And those are the, those are the key things that I, that I ask other people. I'm like, hey, how did you feel when this happened? And they were like, 
Yeah, it was, I mean, I knew it was going to happen. You know, it's like that. They didn't get the, oh, my God, I can't believe that happened. They're just like, eh, yeah, I could see that. I would have done the same thing. So it's stuff like that. So it's stuff like that that really, like, bugs me about <laughs> about the TV show. <laughs> Haven't played the game. I'm here for the set designs and makeup. Yeah, same thing. I'm the same way. Like, show me these, you know, show me these these beautiful designs. Like, you know, how they, how the human body gets, like, stuck on the walls and, you know, all of this, all of this stuff comes out. The, the uh, mushrooms and, and all that stuff come out and just kind of, like, I want to see that. I want to see the infected. I want to see, you know, how they interact in the world, how they are connected, you know, because that's another thing too. It's like the video game, um, the video game made it, uh, had, had the infection spreading through spores. So it was in the air and there was a, there was a high concentration of spores underground and in buildings and stuff like that because they didn't like the light. And every time, Joe and Ellie went into a building uh, for whatever reason to advance the mission or to gather supplies or whatnot. They had to wear these gas masks so they wouldn't, um, so that they wouldn't, you know, be, be infected. And later on in the game, uh, that's one of the things that Ellie's like, eh, you know, I'm immune so I could walk through this crap all day long. It won't matter. And I like that, you know, that's, that's one of the things that I liked and they could probably write that into the show somehow, some way, bring that in. And, you know, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with all that, but yeah, give me, you know, dialogue is great. Story is great, but you know, <laughs> give me, uh, give me some, you know, give me something to chew on, man. Like give me some some action you know we want to see these these uh wonderful 